This is a little electrostatic induction machine that I designed and built. Uh, it's different than the Wimshurst and the Voss machines and others, uh, but it works on the same principles. Uh, this little generator has one rotor right here, and uh, it's driven by a motor that's inside of this box. It has a collector brush on this side and similar one over here on this side. They are made from uh, brass foil and then uh, this copper wire goes around and connects to this uh, the other half of the collection brush. Uh, this stand is actually a coaxial capacitor. The interconductor of it is here and then it goes down through here uh, and then the outer conductor is this uh, part here. There is a, uh, a connecting wire underneath that connects uh, these two capacitors together. We have a discharge uh, wand here uh, and so uh, the way this thing works is that you put an initial charge on one of these uh, induction buttons here. These are made out of wood with conductive paint on them and then it has these little uh, ionization points here that uh, when it's running uh, causes the, these buttons to be charged up to the same polarity as, as, as this capacitor and uh, so the one will be positive and one will be negative. This one will be positive for instance and then that one would be negative. So what happens is the once these charges are on here, one positive and negative, uh, there will be an electric field between those two buttons. And so, if you have a, this shorting bar here, it goes around up to here on both sides. Uh, ions will be generated of opposite polarity, and uh, the uh, they'll get stuck on this disc. Uh, to say stuck as a weak molecular bond between the ions and the uh, dielectric but anyway they're stuck on there and so this, as this thing moves uh, around then uh, the uh, collector brushes will take those charges off of the disc and so then the charge will build up on on this one and this one of opposite polarity so uh, in order to make it work, we have to give it an initial charge. This electrostatic generator has to be uh, primed, so to speak. In other words, there is no uh, direct contact to the plates because it doesn't have any to, uh, to start it. So you have to induce the charges on the, onto these uh, induction buttons here and, uh, <clears throat> in order to get it started. And uh, we'll, I usually do that with a, a piece of PVC pipe and then just rub it on a rag and uh, get it started. And after once it gets going then, uh, the charges then are, uh, from here, are transferred by ion current to this button and from this side to that, that button down there.